Hello all, in this session we will be discussing about defined property method of an object. So I have a person object with the two properties name and age. Normally if you like to add another property we use the syntax like person dot let's say gender and we assign the value like this male for example and if you go and print it console.log person and you can see that age gender name everything is there by default the property that we added using this way is writable and enumerable and configurable which means we can change the value of the gender like this person dot gender and if you go and save you can see that it changed the value gender female gender female and same way enumerable means we can loop through this object and you know we get the all the keys and values example for constant key in person here again write console.log key this is enumerable now you can see that name age gender all the keys we can see that and same way it is configurable means we can delete the gender property also delete person dot gender after deleting we are printing here and if you go see age name only there now we see the difference when we add a property using the defined property method let me remove all these here i will add the gender property object dot defined property and this object dot defined property will take three parameters the first parameter is object on which we would like to add property so the second parameter is the property name it can be string number or symbol and third parameter is again object where it will have some attributes like value writable configurable and that we see now so we need to pass person as first parameter and second parameter as i said its property name so i will add gender and third parameter the thing object and which have some attributes like our property value and you can see the value and question mark whenever you see this question mark in a property or attribute parameter it indicates that this field is not mandatory and it is optional so now value i am passing male now save it now you can see that name age 24 name smith and you can see that gender male so it, you can see that it is kind of grayed out so i will tell you why it is like that now as we said whenever you add any property to the person that is writable means person dot gender and if you'd like to change the value you can change it female and save it now you go and open the object you can still see the value male only so which means whatever the property that we add using the defined property is not writable so it is not writable by default now let us try to iterate it using for loop now if we go and save you can see that name age but gender is not available so that is the reason it is grayed out by default the property that we add using the defined property is not enumerable and the last one not configurable let's see that also now I'll try delete person dot gender save it go and check still gender is available even though we have deleted here and printed after that still the gender property is available so it is not configurable so by now you understood that the property that we added using the defined property is not writable not enumerable and not configurable also so how to make it enumerable or writable and configurable we can have the properties called writable so it, by default it is false so you can make it true now you go and see that the value will be female since we added writable true now you can see that here the gender is female go and make it enumerable true save it now we can see name this for loop is executed and we can see that name age gender and finally make it configurable
true after deleting you can see only smith and age is there and the property gender is missing which is deleted this way when we would like to restrict or prevent the property of object from being editable or enumerable and configurable then you can use this defend property method and not just adding the properties you can add the get and set methods also so here if you see the third parameter this is called data descriptor because we have added the property and provided the data to the property and we make it writable enumerable or configurable and that is the way it is called data descriptor and same way we have another descriptor called access descriptor so using which we can use the getters and setters so let us see how to do that so remove it so here we need to write get and this is the method and arrow function and here before that we need to declare value let's say value equal to i say mail here we need to return the value comma and now use the set method so using it we can set the value so it takes one parameter new value so value equal to new value so we are returning the value that we are defined by default and here using set we are setting the value so it will receive one parameter that is new value and it will change the value here so now let us go and print console.log person if you go and save it you can see that name smith is there now we see gender is not there so gender property earlier it was grayed out and it was you know added using the data descriptor and now we have used the access descriptor where we have the gender property but you can see three sticks here means this is the getter and here you can see that invoke property getter so when you mouse over it it will say it's saying that invoke property getter so which means by default it will not be executed and it will invoke explicitly not implicitly so let's go and click it you can see the mail value this get method will execute and have this value whenever we call it only and by default it will not have the result of this value so example how to call it so we can call this console dot log let's say we can call this get method using the getter name here the gender is the getter name so person dot gender and remember you should not use the get method you should use this gender so gender is the name of the this getter so but you should not use like this okay so it won't work now you can see that mail and same way if you want to set the value you can set it using person dot here gender equal to let's say female save it now we go and see that you can see the result female so this is how you can add the access descriptors like getters and setters you can add it to the object using different property method so one very important point that we need to remember is we can't have the same name for access descriptor and data descriptor means here we have the gender for this you know access descriptor but you can't have the same name for data descriptor so what i mean so when you have like this you know now this is access descriptor and when you remove it and add value now it is become data descriptor so now let's say mail now you can see that you can get the error cannot redefine the property gender at function define property means we can't have the same name for access descriptor and a data descriptor and the second one is here let me remove these we see that now we can set the value and get the value but if you would like to make it read only then simply remove this setter and now this is just read only and we can't set the value if we go and save it you know you can just see mail and age 24 name smith and gender 
mail only even though you assign the value it won't consider it and here you notice we are assigning person that gender is equal to female even though it is not uh, you know writable because we don't have setter here and even in the data descriptor also whenever you mention writable pulse and use this kind of syntax even that time also it didn't give any error so actually it throw errors because we are not in the strict mode we are not able to see that we can add use strict we can see the error uncut type error cannot set property gender of object which has only a getter so when you have only a getter you can't do and same way when you mention writable false even that time also it will be the same error let me take it and let me make writable false actually by default it is but just to show you i just mentioned like that and if you take it this one and try here now see what error it will give it says cannot assign to read only property gender so here it is said that getter but in this case it is saying the property this is all about defined property so thank you for watching